All right, so here we're going to look at solving equations with variables on both sides. But before we get to that, we do want to look and just review, go back over uh, just a regular two-step equation. So the example we'll do here, uh, 5x plus 1 equals 21. So with these ones, we do want to get the x by itself. We want to isolate the x. Um, we are going to undo the times by 5 and the plus 1 that's being done to the x, and that way we'd end up with x equals and then the value at the bottom of, our, of showing our work. So for undoing the, the plus 1, we are going to do a minus 1 uh, to both sides, um, even though effectively we're just looking at the 21 here, because we already know that 5x plus 1 minus 1 is going to make just 5x, and then the only arithmetic we're doing is the 21 minus 1, and that's going to make uh, 20. So now that we have uh, 21 minus 1 is 20, now we have to undo the times 5, and we're going to undo a times 5 with a divide by 5. So we already know that the, the 5x divided by 5 just makes x, so the only thing left to do as far as arithmetic goes is 20 divided by 5, and that's going to make 4. So 4 is a value for x that makes this equation true. Now that we've reviewed the solving two-step equations, we'll look at uh, an equation where we have variables on both sides. So here we go. Here's our example. 2x plus 6 equals 5x plus 18. So if you notice, we do have variables on the right-hand side of the equal sign and to the left of the equal sign. So we don't really like that. We want it to look like our last example. So we want to get x's on one side. So we're thinking we're going to move the x's to one side or the other. And you can go to either side. So in this case, here, here, um, we're going to get the, the x's off of the right-hand side of the equal sign, so we're going to minus a 5x to both sides. So going left to right, 2x minus 5x, that makes 3x. Uh, the plus 6 isn't going to change. We're still going to have a plus 6, and then equals, and here's where we're, we are now, it's not mathematically correct to say it, but we are removing the x's or getting rid of the x's on the right-hand side. 5x minus 5x makes 0x's, so we just have it the, the positive or a plus 18 there. Now we have the two-step equation that looks really similar to the one that we just finished doing. So we do want to get the x by itself equals and then the value, so we need to undo this multiply by negative 3 to the x and the plus 6 being done to the x. So uh, here we go. We'll start by undoing the, the plus 6 that's being done to the x with a minus 6. And this is just following the same type of thing that we did on the last example. 3x plus 6 minus 6, the, the 6s go bye bye And so we just have the, the negative 3x equals. And again, same as the last one. We're just looking for arithmetic-wise. We're looking on this right-hand side. 18 minus 6 is going to make 12. And next up is to undo the times the negative 3 with a divide by negative 3. So negative 3x divided by negative 3 is just x, and then we have a 12 divided by negative 3, and that's going to make negative 4. So again, on this one here, we want to get the x's to one side or the other, and then we just undo the plus 6 with a minus 6, that makes 12, and then undo the multiply by negative 3 with a divide by negative 3. So we went from uh, 18 to 12, and then divide by negative 3 is negative 4. Um, now, for this one here, we're going to do the same example, the same 2x plus 6 equals 5x plus 18, but instead of moving the x's to the left-hand side, we're going to move them to the right-hand side. We're going to end up with the exact same answer, but it's just another way of doing the same thing. So in this case here, we're going to do a minus 2x to both sides. So 2x minus 2x makes no x's, just a plus or a positive 6 there. And then 5x minus 2x's makes 3x's. And then we still have the plus 18. So when we do it this way, you end up with a positive coefficient on your variable. So sometimes it makes the arithmetic a little bit easier. But we still have the two-step equation. We're looking to get x equals and then its value there. So we're going to undo the 3 being multiplied to the x and the 18 being added to the x. That's what we've got to undo. So we undo a plus 18 with a minus 18. So uh, now, now our arithmetic is being done on the left-hand side. So 6 minus 18 is going to make a negative 12. And then uh, we have the 3x on the right-hand side, plus 18 minus 18, the 18s go bye-bye. 
So now we're going to undo the times by 3 with a divide by 3. So now we have a negative divided by a positive. So that's going to be a negative. And then 12 divided by 3, 4. So negative 4 is the value for the variable that makes the equation true. So just like the last one that we did, we're going to move x's to one side or the other and then undo what's being done to the x. Okay, so for solving equations with variables on both sides, get the variables to one side of the equation or the other, and then we're just going to be undoing, we're going to solve, so we're going to undo what's being done to the x, the number that's being multiplied, and then the number that's being added or subtracted to the x. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching.